I don't know about it. Please continue. Go on. So the new song is actually not a new law, but in reality, it is a new exodus, a greater exodus, a second salvation, a second deliverance of all 12 tribes of Jacob coming back to their pro to Jacob's promised land, to Zion. That's a stretch, it's a bit of an inference. No, I don't not. know where you're getting it from. Like, no, it's not. You're, you're making a claim. What, what verses are you backing up for that? It seems like you're reading into it. Like, Revelation 15. Are you, have you quoted Revelation 15? The first time I spoke. Okay, quote it now. Let me see if I, can, if I can hear Jesus Christ being referenced to being what Isaiah you're saying. In Isaiah 42. I'm going to listen for it. He who scatters Israel gathers Israel. He, okay. Who's, who scattered Israel? I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay. So, right now, this is your evidence. The Bible is my evidence. But you haven't referenced the Bible to say this is referring to Jesus and this is what it is. This is your inference. So, I hear Muslims, I hear Adnan Rashid talk about Isaiah 42. I've heard uh, Mansour speak of Isaiah 42, and they claim that Isaiah 42 is Muhammad, so the same... I'm, they're, not, they're not here. I don't, well, I'm going to see they, them tomorrow. They, they can't defend themselves. Okay, so yeah. I hear Muslims... I haven't made that claim. I'm going to... I'm going to I want you to blow, claim. blow, blow my mind by showing your evidence that this isn't referring to the Prophet Muhammad, which I'm not claiming, but indeed it's referring to Jesus Christ. So the same Peace way that him. I hear Muslims on YouTube claiming please, Isaiah 42? Please, no, that's, he, I'm he, answering. He, 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 no, he didn't claim. I know, I didn't say he is, I can't even remember his name. Please, no, no. Those names are too hard for me. When you meet them, no disrespect. Brother, 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 when you meet them, you can explain to them, will, then they will, will answer you. Because just but only, that's my, if, if, just only, if you read, if you read a little bit more, Isaiah, for example, 42, 19, you will find that, that he's talking about a messenger. And you know Jesus is not a messenger. According what you belief, claim, what you believe. According to your belief, then it's not totally 100% talking about Jesus. If not talking about Jesus, talking about who? Now, he's got his evidence. If we continue reading, what's, do you have the Bible with you? What's, what's we can go evidence? through the Bible. What's the evidence? That when you continue reading, does it make sense? Uh, uh, yeah. Doesn't it speak of Israel at the end of the chapter? Let's verify because he's giving evidence. So he's saying to continue reading and let's see. So, yeah. yeah read, for example, Isaiah 42 19. Isaiah 42 19. We're not making a claim. At the moment, the gentleman, he's made a claim. Probably best to ask him. I'm not. I'm not clear about this. Huh? I'm a Muslim. I don't. It's, it's, it's not an article of my faith to be coming to terms with the Bible and the Christian scripture. I'm not making that claim. What verse? In a question, 19. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger, whom I send? Who is blind as he who is perfect? According to your belief, Jesus is not a messenger. So this is referencing a messenger. You claim Jesus Christ isn't a messenger. a messenger. When did I say he was not a messenger? He's not God. Is he God? Hold on. In all, this is Isaiah 63, verse 9. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel. Who, the, who's he, sorry? And the angel, a messenger of his presence, who claimed to be God on earth. So the messenger 
Why you Messiah jump 19? Jesus. Why you jump 19 and you go? Where you went? Isaiah 63, verse 9. 63 for the. You run away from 42. You're talking about something else and you want to bring it like an evidence about, about your claim. It's a little bit not, not good. It's a lot good because Isaiah 19, 42, 19 is speaking of a messenger. Now in 63, 9 is speaking of that same messenger. Okay. Is in 63, is there where Jesus, where Isaiah, he said I'm talking about Jesus? Where does or it say? Only just only your it doesn't have to say the name Jesus. No, it has. No, it doesn't. It has. Okay, it's talking about me. Then say. Okay. Say it's not. Say that's it's what not. you believe. I, no, no. So, so, so basically, his criteria for evidence needs to be. It needs to be clear. No, it needs to mention <laughs> Jesus Christ. Peace be upon him. No, it doesn't have to say. No, no, no. no. Your criteria for evidence, because we can dis agree to disagree. That's the thing. I'm a passive guy. Yeah. Your criteria, it could make a claim it does it's not specific it doesn't say jesus by name but you're going to inference and you're going to say it's talking about jesus <laughs> it could be talking about technically anyone really and unless and i agree same as this brother if it doesn't categorically say jesus i'm not going to say it's jesus so yeah that's fine yeah so we got we just have a different Car um, a different expectation in regards to our criteria for evidence. So it doesn't categorically say Jesus, but you have to believe it is Jesus based on um, your inferences, based on other parts of the Bible that talk when about When I read him. the Bible, I think of a, of a, I see a second exodus. Can I answer your question now? Can you show me a single verse in the entire Bible, where it shows the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they are co-equal, they are eternal. Categorically, that's what I'm, I want. I'm speaking about the second no, we, Exodus. We've moved on that, from that. A, we've moved no, on from did, that. you did, not me. Okay. I'll, I'll let you finish. It's going crazy today. <laughs> Whose is that? Flashing red, should we walk away from it? It's this gentleman here. Okay, when would you want to move away and start the topic that one I'm interested in? You seem nervous. I've been nervous since I got here. I've never talked in front of a camera before. Fair enough, and today you've got a few cameras. Yeah. And a mic. I never had a mic on. Me. That's fine. So, because you believe the Holy Spirit will guide you, right? I believe His Word guides us. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit isn't guiding you. He will bring the remembrance. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't want to superimpose conversations I've had with other Christians. So that's fine. They claim that the Holy Spirit guides them. But that's fine, that's not a claim you're making, so that's fine. So right now, um, do you want to start my topic or not really? Who's that? Huh? Um, it's this gentleman, this microphone. It's the first time I've met him. I don't even, I've, I haven't actually introduced myself, I don't even know who he is. Was this that other guy that was here? No, the other guy is here. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. One. I don't, I don't remember that yeah. one coming out. So, do you want to? Because I want to kind of wrap up this conversation. Do you want to show me a single verse? Because you, you like quoting the Bible. A single verse in the entire Bible where Jesus Christ claims to be. So it says that. Um, a single verse in the entire Bible that shows the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They're co-equal. They're eternal. Well, it says that. That God in His Spirit has sent me. So there's a third person. Who's that me? That's the second person. I'm saying there's no, three. It says God and His Spirit <laughs> has sent me. 
Show me, show me where that's in the Bible. Do you know it's if you jumped in we'll jump in because Sam Bell jumped in can't say it. Yeah, can you show me unification fellows? Pardon, sorry? So can you show me unification fellows? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to take one question. One, 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 one question because he took one question. Go on. So I want you to show me in the Quran the unification fellows actually was. Because you believe in Tawi, which means literally unification. So show me the unification of Allah's actions. So mercy, love, forgiveness, whatever. All right. Right now, he went on a, he asked a question based on a question, a statement, a claim. I haven't made any claims. So if you want to jump in, you can help him out by showing me a single verse in the entire Bible where it shows the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co-equal, the eternal. So it's a claim the gentleman here, yeah. the gentleman here showed a verse um, where they were sent, and he's going to find the reference. Yeah, that's but that, that's right. not that's not what I'm asking for. So, yeah. so what you're asking for is a direct claim where the Bible says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal persons, right? They're eternal. Yeah, they're right. the same. My claim is that's emphatically wrong paradigm. Paradigm, sorry, paradigmically according to your religion. So because you don't you believe cannot, that. You, you don't show, believe that. So, you, allow me to finish. so you cannot show from your Quran where Allah's attributes are unified. That's what Tawid is. Literally, every doctrine of Tawid is the unification of Allah's attributes. So if you can show me that in the Quran, what? So you no, no, need. I'm not talking about one. The Quran does say it's one. That's what it says. You want me to evidence what I believe I'm from the Quran. Right. But you're unable to evidence what you believe so from the Bible. What I'm saying is that this is a false dichotomy you're making. You're, you're making a claim that if you can't find in the Bible the claim that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co equal and co eternal persons, therefore the doctrine itself cannot be true. I'm claiming the doctrine of Tawid. Have, I, have I said that? No, no, have I'm I said that? I'm claiming that the doctrine of Tawid can be true even if there isn't an emphatic statement that claims that, by the way, Allah's attributes are eternally consistent. Tell me when you're done. One. Are you done? Okay. Yeah. The only time I'm going to interrupt you is if you misrepresent what I say. So you're asking the question? Yeah? I've just asked the question. Yeah, yeah, you've asked the question. Did I answer you back the question you asked? No, you haven't. All right. So the question you asked him was, can you show me where the Bible emphatically states that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal persons? Yes. I, I don't claim to you that's a full start. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Because... Can you show me a verse in the Bible, does it? I'm that's a false dichotomy. So to your belief... Your position... Can I speak now? Problem. Can I speak now? You do, you do not have... Can I speak now? Where it can I speak says, now? No, you're talking over me. You're talking over me. No, no, can I speak now? You're talking over me. This is what I mean. You're talking over me. Yeah? So allow me to finish. So let me clarify. You've already finished once. No, no, we're timing. We're timing. You, you've already no, no, finished. No, I you've already finished. I'll let you finish no, you and then finish. I was clarifying my... So, no, I was clarifying okay. position. Right? Are, you, are, so, are so, you answering my question? Fine, one minute. Are so you answering my question? Was, the claim was are you, you I'm not making a claim. I'm asking a question. I'm going to ask you a question. You have a false star cost me because your Quran doesn't claim You keep saying false star cost me. are unique and they're one. doesn't claim that in the Quran. So if you can't show from your Quran that the attributes of Allah are unique and I'm happy to then answer your question. Does not exist I'm, happy, I'm happy. I'm happy to answer your question Good. after you've answered my question. So th this is how the conversation is going to take place. Do you not yeah? get the dichotomy is wrong? It doesn't matter. Do you believe? Do you believe in Trinity? Do you believe in Trinity? Do you believe in Trinity? Of course, I believe in Trinity. Do you believe, okay. do you believe in Trinity? Where does that belief come from? The belief comes from solely the Bible and the church fathers. Thank you. So your belief in Trinity comes from the Bible. And the church fathers. Now show me in the Bible. Did you not hear what I just said? And the church fathers. So the doctrine... Can I finish what I'm saying? Can I finish what I'm saying? See, now now he's jumping all over the place. Like I said, every creed you've got... Show me from the church. I'm going to go now. But you do not have... I'm going to go now. You're talking over me. You're talking over me. in the Quran because it doesn't claim me. Excuse me, sir. Do you remember what I said? And how, what they're going to do, start talking over me, so on and so forth, right? So, did you get my argument? Because I don't think he is. My point was, he claims It's not argument. We have to show where you have to ask the father, the son, a question, the answer, answer a question. Yeah, yeah, specific words. And I'm claiming I haven't that's said a that. Full star I didn't say you specific can't start words. Without running I didn't say specific words. Not. I said to you, see, why do you feel the need? To bring Islam into this. This is talking about Islam. No, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm but talking about what you believe. So you that's made a claim. Paradigm. You believe from the Bible and from Christian scholars. What did you say? Oh, so I said the church fathers. Church fathers. Okay, okay. You could say that. Now, show me from the Bible and church fathers. So I want two different church references. Yes. Uh, yes. Two different references because I want one from the Bible. So my first one is from the Bible, where the Father, the Son. 
the Holy Spirit are co-equal the eternal. And what I want you to know is, you heard that very language he was using, right? He said to show me from the Bible. He said to show, allow me to finish up. Right. So he said to show me from the Bible. It's getting recorded anyway. That the co-eternal, co that the Bible says that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-eternal, co-equal persons in the Trinitarian doctrine. He wanted me to show him that. I'm saying that's a full start of position because we start with that position, that dichotomy. The, it ruins Tawid and the Quran because the Quran doesn't claim that Allah's actions are Tawid? consistently one. It doesn't claim that. Okay. Can you show me where the Quran says that Allah's actions are consistently one? If you mercy, believe that, hold on, hold on. If you else, believe. If you can show me that and sort out Isra, that would be fine. If, if you, you can't show me that, then your dichotomy is wrong, change the dichotomy. Wait, wait, wait. You said this is what you believe. You said you believe it from the Bible. And you're refusing to quote the yeah, Bible. So, uh, remember what I said, what, the Bible and the church fathers, right? Because as well as the church fathers. have scholars, they have the earliest... No, no, no don't teach me about mosque. Islam. You lot have all of your hadiths, see, that's see, fine. Look at this. And you also have schools of thought. Everyone, a red herring. Yeah? I want to know uh, you can't is. answer my question. No, I'm asking your dichotomy. You have a dichotomy, a paradigm you're asking me to so answer. So say, except... Every, every position you have except, has a paradigm. You've except, got to understand basic language, bro. Except that what you believe, you can't back... You Okay, admit that you failed to back up your no, belief no, 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 from no, no. the Bible now. The claim you're making is I have to show where the Bible claims that I didn't the say Father, you have the to Son show. and the Holy Spirit are co-eternal persons, right? I'm claiming that kind of language if we had to apply it to the Quran. The Quran doesn't state, state clearly that Allah's attributes are co-equal and co-eternal. Co co it doesn't claim that. You're just embarrassing because yourself. Can't stand without I'm embarrassing myself by, without by exposing your heart. Says apart from Muhammad about his yeah, See, there you go, there you go. Red herring, red herring, red herring. No, no, no. Open the Bible, open the Bible. Open the Bible. Finish. I told you. Enjoy, enjoy the content. You failed to answer my question. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. It's embarrassment. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. I'm off. Thank you very much. Everyone just saw it now. My question was simple. The thing is, with these Islamophobic characters um, who preach hate, they're able to kind of do these red herrings, speak to people who don't have knowledge. When I had the conversation with them, I asked them a simple question. They believe in Trinity, yeah? And I said, look, show me your belief of Trinity, that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're co-equal, they're eternal from the Bible. Now, you don't have to use that exact language, but they failed to show anything. Then he starts quoting the, or trying, attempting to talk about Tawheed and the Quran. But it's like, stick on topic. We're talking about the Bible and your belief. So then he said, um, the church fathers. Yeah. So Bismillah, if you believe in the church fathers, then show me a scripture reference from the Bible where it talks about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit being co equal, eternal. And then that's emphasized or reiterated by the church fathers. But he failed to do this. So alhamdulillah, done. Nothing more to say. Because what ends up happening is with these Islamophobic people, they'll come and they'll do these red hearings, randomly talk about whatever rubbish they happen to read and kind of falsehood they want to indoctrinate into the Christian fan base who doesn't understand Islam, who's just going to follow on what they're saying. But anyone who knows the Quran and the Sunnah will know it's coherent, it makes sense. And it, like I believe we can back it up through the Quran and the Sunnah. However, they make a claim, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Trinity. The word Trinity isn't even in the Bible. No one can actually show, no Christian can show any verses where it says the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co-equal, the eternal. So then why would they have that belief? Jesus Christ never taught the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co-equal, the eternal. Um, Jesus Christ never claimed to be God. He actually said um, the one um, in John 17, 3 and other references where he's saying God sent him. And they might reference other elements where he's talking about the Father, the Son, where's the third? Where's the Holy Spirit? But Bismillah, there's nothing more to say. And you clearly saw how he was raising his voice and he didn't want to have a conversation. So Bismillah, Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa